What is going on, Bobbylicious boys and girls? Welcome back to the most appealing channel on YouTube. Get it? Because I'm a banana. Oh boy. Yep, this is what you come for. Um, welcome back to Scarylicious Gaming. Welcome to Forgotten Fridays, and our game of the week is Clock Tower. I'll get into that in just a second. But first and foremost, I wanted to say uh, a special welcome to a lot of our new viewers. I did not expect Sign of Silence to blow up like it did the other day, but holy cow, it blew up. And we got a couple new subscribers coming in here, so I want to say welcome. Thank you for subscribing. If you saw Sign of Silence and now you're coming back into this and you're not subscribed and my banana costume didn't immediately turn you away, hey, hit that subscribe button. Welcome, join the family. We're happy to have you if you are. Um, with that being said, let's dive into today's game, Clock Tower. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her... And her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. It happened in September. See, you missed, you missed your window there. Se September is not as creepy as October. Oh, <laughs> Hark! Super Nintendo Birds. This was a game that was only released in Japan on the Super Nintendo. Laura, hurry up! We want to be there before sunset. How far do you have to travel? Miss Mary? Yes? From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? She's gonna be a Southern Belle. That's how I'm determined. That's the, that's the way it is. That's the fifth time you've asked. If you ask me one more time! Don't worry, it's a very nice place. I believe that is our character. We are almost there. See? On the horizon, smoke rises from the mountain. The hour grows late. And Miss Mary and five children come walking up to the gates of Granite Orphanage. What a huge place! Yeah, huge. Yeah! Oh, here we are. Main hall's gigantic. <laughs> I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. Um, it is a horror game about girls in an orphanage. And we'll see why is it called Clock Tower? Why is Miss Mary as suspicious as we think she is? I don't know too much about this game, but I know little tidbits. I read up on stuff. What is that, girl? Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. <laughs> Jeez, well, you're too late now. Hey, Ann. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrel is? Not really. I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Lot's parent. Lot? What kind of name is Lot? It's Lot. It's like a biblical name. Go in the door. You know you want to. Were we not done? Lot, were you not done speaking? Did I let you finish? Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? Yep, so this is a Jap- So, anyway, back to my main point. This is a Japanese horror game that was only in Japan on the SNES, on the Super Nintendo, and then- Oh! The main hall! What's going on in the main hall? This story keeps interrupting my story. Uh-oh. Girls! Oh my gosh, come on, this isn't funny. Where? 
Well, gosh, well, golly gee, gosh darn. Now I can run. The stairs. Wow, this is gonna be a long playthrough. I don't intend to beat this game. I don't know how long it is, but I don't have time to play the entire thing. Not at these speeds. Um, yeah, you know, going upstairs in a horror situation is usually the right answer. I'd say, you know, I'm not, I'm not an expert or nothing, but... Well, shoot! That's not gonna work. I love just that she has her eyes closed right there. Like, that's just like... She's thinking about the locked door still. She can't get it out of her mind. And she's closing her eyes because she's like, I could have fallen, maybe twisted my ankle or something like that. Like that would not have been good. I am slowly ripening, becoming a brown banana as this is happening. My gosh. Can we have a little urgency? All your girlfriends just got kidnapped. Rover, I love ya. Be gone. Shoot. All right. Let's check this out. Let's see. Let's see how good I look. Oh, you know what? I gotta let my hair down. Hold on. There it is. And now I'm beautiful. Didn't wanna, oh, see, she did her hair. Fixed it. It's good. Oh, there's two beds. Looks like the left bed isn't used. Looks like the left bed isn't. I didn't ask about the left bed, I asked about the right bed. I'm sorry? I'll kill you? No. No, 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 no. No, leave the pigeon alone. I mean the parrot. Leave, leave the parrot alone. No. What is happening? Get away! Leave the bird alone! Get out of here! That's ominous vibes! It was saying that I'll kill you! Yeah. No more of that. Jeez. Yeah, my girl's startled now. She's like, my gosh, we don't have birds like that back in Texas out on the, out on the prairie. The water's running. Why? Why? Can I go in here? Against my better judgment, my gosh. Well, she did have that constipated face. You know, maybe. I don't have to go right now. Your face, a few minutes ago, said otherwise. Oh, no! That, that's a shock. This, oh. Well, that's pretty graphic for law. I thought I was Laura. Oh no! And here is our titular. No, he's not a titular. He's not in the title. Uh, here is. No, uh, no, 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 no! Leave him be! Leave him be! Leave! He is. He is the Scissor Man. Close the door behind you. Get out of here! Uh, I would argue that we need to go! He's not the, the titular scissor man, scissor boy, scissor, uh, small person, but he, uh, e he exists in this game and he is our main antagonist. Um, well, I guess that door's as good as any. I was sprinting, so, you know, what do I know? Those... Dang, this, the Super Nintendo sound. Oh, oh, oh. Where did you come from? Scissor Boy? We'll call him Snippy. I'm gonna call him Snippy. Snip, snip. Snippy! He's like, yeah. <laughs> You will never stop me and my hedge clippers. Dude, my eyes. Get, get, go, 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 go! Oh, 
Bust out. Bust out. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust. Would you please depart the bathroom with more urgency? Depart the bathroom as if you've just seen your friend murdered in the shower and a snippy little boy pops up out of the water and is trying to snip you. Quit. He's behind me. Go in the door, Laura. Are all of these gonna be locked? It's open! Get inside! He's coming! We gotta hide! Get over this box, he won't be able to see you! Yes! Yes! Climb! Run! He's a shrimpy little boy! Is that a nest up there? Oh, you son of a gun! Are you kidding me? How did you catch up to me?! Did that really just happen? What did you trip on? A squeam came from outside. It seems that door's locked. There's there's not a door there. Stop, stop tripping, you klutz. My gosh. Is it still stuck? I thought maybe the scream would have shaken it loose. I don't know. So I literally have two places I can go. I can go to the room where I've been constantly dying or I can go back into the kitchen where I also died oh the music stopped has he has he stopped has snippy stopped oh and then I could go further down this hall well, let's go in the kitchen let's see what we got maybe grab a little snack oh oh flying cockroaches cool <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna say no to that. What- what is this, Japan? What was this? A ham was put in here. Picked up some ham. Sure. Why not? I got ham. Maybe that's all Snippy wants is a ham sandwich. This is a key! A car key! Nothing else is in here. Well, oh, they left the keys in the trunk! Dude, let's get out of here! Later. The keys aren't- You have the key! You literally just- What?! You just picked it up! Let's end this stupid game! Oh. Duh. I'm not supposed to use the key. I'm supposed to use the ham. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I can use the items and stuff. I can get out of here with this car. But... The others... <laughs> Forget them, girl! What?! Why are you so self-righteous? A bastion of hope for these dead and dying girls. There's only two left, I mean... Various beverages. Nice. A goblet. Double nice. Four various beverages, probably. These have been used recently. Some of the drink is still in there. What kind of drink is it? Take a sip. I'm struggling right now, I'm not gonna lie. I struggling in the terms in sense of like I am running on like a 30 minute nap that I just took before doing this and an ice cream sandwich so <laughs> that, that's that's the level i'm at right now okay what did i just get did i get a stick did i pick up the stick now why did i think that was okay why did my character think that was okay didn't you want to run that one by me didn't you want to run that by me, Jennifer? Didn't you want to say, hey, do you want me to pick up this stick and annoy this bird? Yeah, it does look like a bird nest. And the mom is back. Ah, this room again. 
our parrot friend is back in his cage, and we shan't be setting him free. Yeah, let's not. Alright, well, with everything that's going on, I probably need to go tussle my hair again. Gotta make sure that I look good for when... It's completely dark outside. What time is it now? That's the question I'm asking. Because I've been playing this for like an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm totally not reading a walkthrough right now of what I need to do. But Chubby's name is Bobby. And I think that's the greatest thing ever. Because my name is also Bobby. Can you please go on the other side of the box again? Why did we have to go through all the process of jumping... You're supposed to be able to push the box, apparently. Can you do that for me? Can you walk in front of the box again and not hop over it? Can you push it? There we go. I had to look at the bird nest. And then she was like, ding, ding, ding. I get it. She couldn't see into my mind of what I was trying to accomplish with that. What's this sound? What is this? Nest is full of eggs and junk. There's a key. That's not junk. Can you take the key? West wing key. Okay, that sounds promising. I have renewed vigor. It's a very small amount, but I have renewed vigor with this game now that I've found the key. That was the gold key. Ooh, Miss Mary! Quite contrary. Glad to see you safe, Jennifer. Mary, everyone, everyone, everything's going to be just fine. Oh, this was the drink room. Yeah. Have some not poisoned wine. It'll calm you down. Yeah, no, don't drink that, Jen. Jen! Mmm, most excellent. You have drank my wine, which was definitely poisoned. I'm sorry, what? Where are we? Uh. Sorry, I'll never make that set again. Where? Where am I? Who are you? How did- Oh, hi there. I don't want to look at you. Who are you? Uh, uh, food. Uh, food. Dude, you got any food? I, I just so happen to have some ham. Yes, you want food? Have ham. Uh, who are you? Simon Belmont Barrows. Oh, are you Mr. Barrows? This man is Barrows? <laughs> right now, it's watching you. What? What? Huh? Watching you cradle under the star. Cradle under the star? Okay, Simon. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Don't look. Stop. Roxette, or whatever your name is. Lot. <laughs> Jennifer, you're okay. Lot. Half a sec. I'll get you out. <laughs> yeah. Would go, Lot. Would go. Now get out of here before Mary comes. And sports gives you more poison wine. Quickly, Jennifer, I've got the burps. No, give a lot of hug. You're probably never gonna see her again. A voice is heard outside the shed. We're in a shed. Now isn't that a pity? Jennifer, don't move a muscle. I will punish you with more poison wine. Right, go. Go. 
wait, no. There's a board here. I could probably hit her with it. Get it. No, no, Jennifer, you dummy. Oh, I'm hiding. Well, okay. Come out wherever you want, Jennifer. Oh my gosh, she's got a shotgun. <laughs> Simon, where is she? It's gonna be like, dude, she gave me some harm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna squeal. Don't look in the one place I could possibly be hiding. Hiding in a place like this, just like a thief. She didn't even pull the lid back or nothing. She was just like, bang, both barrels. All right, let's go for this board. I think I'm going to whack her with it. Jennifer, don't move a muscle. I will punish you. I'm going to be like, punish this. Bah! Grab the shotgun. Why didn't I grab the shotgun? Was that not the move that I would make in this case? Why didn't I take the shotgun? You're kidding me. Bobby. I saw that. Bobby, you little... Looks like part of the ceiling fell. Yeah. Bobby, knock it off. Ears hurt. It's a record player. It's unplugged. Okay. Play the piano. Play some lovely jaunty tune there, Jennifer. I'm sure you're familiar with uh, Chopin. We have to run and hide from Bobby. Bobby's gonna murder you. Bobby's gonna murder you. Oh, it's just, is it one giant loop? It's one giant loop. No, it is not. No, it most definitely is not. This is the worst. No, Bobby, no, I'm gonna hide among your mannequins. Bobby! Are the mannequins moving? One of the mannequins was moving over there. Bobby, give me a sec. Bobby! I fought him off, but then he's... Oh, he's jolly about that. So I think here's the big question. Who signed off on this? The We were five orphaned girls, right? And we were wanted, quote-unquote, wanted as adopted daughters. And so we went to this orphanage, like a new orphanage. And like, who... who gave the okay who signed the permission slip for the five of us to come here did they come and inspect the house first did they meet bobby was he polite did they did he shake their hand did he offer them some ham and that just smoothed everything over maybe i would be i would be wooed by a little gremlin with giant scissors that had the same name as me if he offered me a piece of ham i'd be like well that is just adorable and i will gladly accept anything that you offer me oh you're going to murder the children i'm about to give you well oh you have a creepy doll room in your house that you want to uh very investigate this mannequin is wearing a dress <laughs> bobby you got me you got me bobs you got me, Bobbers. You got me. I'm dead. I. That's it. That's the game. That. That actually gave me a scare. That it that gave me the first scare I've had this entire game. Like genuine scare. I was not expecting Bob to pop out of that. We're done. <laughs> We're done. You guys, Human Entertainment. That's a creepy name for a gaming company. Um. 
stop stop digging in my ear um thank you guys for checking in as always i really appreciate you i hope you enjoyed clock tower i didn't intend to play the whole thing through just kind of see what it was all about i've known about it for a while and with it being japanese only it was like yeah let's just try it out human 1995 creepy um but yeah uh come on back next time monday will be uh marathon mondays and we'll be getting back into song of horror and we'll be chapter two so we'll see what happens there and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed uh, forgotten fridays um for those of you that are new once again thank you for joining uh, i hope you are enjoying and uh, if you're not subscribed already go ahead and do so uh, and with that being said thank you and i hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day